Hi, I'm James Bruce, you're watching MakeUseOf.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Evoluent Vertical Wireless Mouse. Wait, I know, mice, not exactly the height of modern technology, are they? But if you spend any amount of time on a computer typing and using the mouse, you really should be thinking about ergonomics, which is to say using a mouse and keyboard combination that won't give you health issues in 20 to 30 years. Repetitive strain injury and other various wrist and arm injuries are really no joke. Your main input device should absolutely suit you and be comfortable for long-term use. If it isn't, you need to change it. So this is the Evoluent Vertical Wireless Mouse. It comes in two sizes as well as a version obviously for your left and right-handed users. It's pretty much exactly as it sounds. Imagine taking a mouse and flipping it on the side. It costs about $100, which sounds a little bit pricey compared to other mice, but not compared to other ergonomic products. So in terms of overall size, it's definitely on the large side. It stands at about eight centimeters tall, nine centimeters wide, and 11 centimeters length. So I have sort of normal sized hands, I'd say, and it fits perfectly. Now two design aspects are needed in order to make a vertical mouse work. The first is a large thumb rest here, and the second is a large palm rest on the bottom. So that enables you to rest your hand there without your palm dragging. From a design perspective, it's functional. It doesn't look amazing, but it does the job. However, I'm not a huge fan of the fake plastic chrome that they've used for the thumb rest. Apart from the fact that it's the paint's probably gonna rub off after six months to a year, it actually makes the device very slippery. Not just the chrome there, but the rest of the body as well is this very slippery matte black plastic. And if your hands are clean, you're gonna find it very difficult to hold without dropping it. In fact, when I first took it out of the package and tried to take photos, I dropped it a couple of times, I'll admit. The instruction manual actually addresses this and says that if you do want to pick it up, you should tilt it first so it's on its side and then lift it. So it's clearly a problem that they also found with user testing. Now this is gonna matter if you have multiple monitors, for example, or if you have a laptop that you switch between a standing desk and a seated desk. If you find yourself moving your mouse around a lot, you may find yourself dropping this, it's quite heavy. So there are three main buttons, as well as a clickable scroll wheel, and then two additional buttons that you have on the top and the bottom of the thumb rest. There's also a pointer speed control with, with four levels of speed that you can set. Now these additional buttons can be configured with the included Evoluent software. So you can assign them to common tasks, to keyboard macros that you might use. So this is definitely a neat feature. I found myself setting up the two buttons as copy and paste because that's something I need to do a lot when pasting links into articles and things. The whole thing is wireless over Bluetooth 4.0 or using the included dongle. However, I did have a bit of an issue with range. It did seem to cut out quite a lot and I had to move it a bit closer. That could also be just because my USB hub is underpowered. So what is the actual benefit of using a vertical mouse like that? So the theory goes, according to Evoluent, that a normal mouse will actually twist your arm. You can feel the tension going on there and using that for extended periods of time is going to cause you a problem. A vertical mouse completely eliminates that tension by just keeping your hand in the normal, natural position. Now I should note there's no medical studies to back this up, but it does seem fairly logical, and if you twist your arm like that, you can feel the tension being placed, so I don't think it's incorrect in any way. In fact, the keyboard that I regularly use, this Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic device, actually tilts up in the middle. It's probably going on the same sort of theory that when you push your hands to the middle of the keyboard, you don't want them to be completely flat because that introduces more tension. So having a little bit of verticalness on your keyboard too can also help. So having now used the Evoluent vertical mouse as my main pointing device for about a week, I guess the big question is, is it comfortable? Well, is it more comfortable than a regular mouse? And will I keep on using it? First and foremost, yes, it is definitely more comfortable than your regular horizontal mouse. If anything, this should be the new standard in mouse designs. Now bear in mind, I'm not a heavy PC gamer anymore, so I didn't do much testing of this with fast paced FPS sort of action games. It is wireless, so you might get a bit of lag there, but in terms of the same dexterity that you get compared to a regular horizontal mouse, 
it's exactly the same. You should still be able to do those fast motions and have full control. It certainly doesn't reduce any freedom of movement that you have in your arm. That said, I already knew that horizontal mice weren't actually that comfortable and a couple of years ago I switched over to using an Apple trackpad with my Mac, the large white slab design. Even the most ergonomically designed mice just weren't that comfortable for extended periods of time. Perhaps if I'd have discovered the Evoluent vertical mouse earlier, I might never have opted for a trackpad. But as it is, my main pointing device daily is a large Apple trackpad. And if I'm honest, I'll probably stay with the trackpad. Although the custom buttons on the Evoluent vertical mouse were very useful, I actually found myself missing the gesture controls that I get on the trackpad a lot more. The ability to scroll horizontally, for instance, didn't work within Final Cut, and even when you were scrolling web pages with the mouse, the scroll wheel comes across as very jerky movement, whereas the trackpad gives you completely smooth motion. It's little things like that that I didn't realize that I missed until I went back to using a regular mouse for a week. Now obviously that's not a complaint about the Evoluent vertical mouse in particular, I'm just saying if you have a desktop Mac and you're looking to replace a standard horizontal mouse, you might look at a trackpad instead because it costs about the same. And I think in the long term, I get roughly the same ergonomic benefits from a trackpad where my hand can rest slightly vertically and just use the fingertip as I do from using the vertical mouse. The size of the Evoluent mouse was also a bit of a problem for me. I find myself switching back to the keyboard a lot and with this, it's, it's really tall, eight centimeters tall. I have to actually lift my arm up and then go back to the keyboard, unlike with a trackpad where I just slide over. That said, a trackpad certainly isn't for everyone. So if you're on a Windows machine or you like to do regular gaming, then I would definitely recommend switching over to the Evoluent vertical mouse. Your wrist will definitely thank you in the long run. The only exclusion to that recommendation is, as I mentioned, if you have a laptop that you carry around and you need a mouse with that, or if you have multiple monitors, basically if you need to move your mouse around a lot, you will undoubtedly drop this. If you can just leave it on your desk, you just have one workstation where you're gonna keep this, absolutely fine, definitely recommend it. But if you're gonna move it around, you will drop it. Anyway, that's the Evoluent vertical mouse. Pick it up now for about $100 from Amazon. If you use your mouse a lot and you value your wrist in the long run, head on over to makeuseof.com to read my full review or check out the full range of Evoluent ergonomic products over at evoluent.com. Thanks for watching and if you appreciated this review, hit like and subscribe. If not, head on down to the comments to tell me why. Until next time.